Even though my girlfriend didn't do anything to me, I broke up with her for supporting her friends cheating and lying to their fiancés slash boyfriends. Now, I'm going to expose her dirtbag friend to her fiancé. I've been with my girlfriend for just over a year, and overall she's a nice person, but her friends are absolutely toxic. The main ringleader has a kid and muscled her long-term boyfriend into an open relationship. She parties several times a week and sleeps with other guys while the pathetic doormat of a boyfriend looks after their two-year-old. Another one routinely cheats on her fiancé and even hooked up with one of my friends in a bathroom stall the first time our groups hung out. They've pushed my girlfriend into starting an OnlyFans and all sorts of other grotesque stuff, but she justifiably tells them to kick rocks because she's in a relationship. This only results in them throwing controlling boyfriend accusations my way. My girlfriend's last two boyfriends were complete deadbeats, one of whom was a recovering addict, so this is the only normal relationship she's been in for the past five years. I knew it was only a matter of time before she caved. You can't be around serial cheaters and dirtbags without dabbling in it yourself at some point. And I can't exactly tell her to cut off her childhood friends without some sort of resentment festering, so I did us both a favor and ended the relationship. She freaked out, but I just told her I was in a dark place and couldn't be in a relationship. I didn't have it in me to tell her it was because her friends are actual human toilets. This isn't the first girl I've broken up with because of their friends. Edit, okay, so I've seen a lot of people ask why I didn't just tell her the truth. But what would that accomplish exactly? I'm not planning on getting back with her, and telling her that the reason I wanted to break up was because of her toxic friends would only drive a wedge between them at a time when she needs all the support she can get. I get the whole just tell her the truth thing, but that would just cause more harm if she thinks the people she thought she could turn to were the reason she's dealing with a breakup in the first place. Edit 2, a lot of you seem to think that once I told her the reason, she'd suddenly open her eyes and see her friends for what they were. That's not happening. She was around when most of the cheating and scummy shit occurred and even lost her shit at me once for suggesting I tell the girl's fiancé. She's been friends with them since they were 4 to 6 years old, cutting them off would be next to impossible for her. Edit 3, although my girlfriend never did anything directly to me, she'd lose her shit and would side with them whenever I brought up her friend's questionable behavior. She wasn't an innocent bystander. She directly or indirectly lied on her friend's behalf and covered for them a bunch of times, oh, Jen stayed over at my place, she just watched movies and drank with me and op, etc. Bear in mind some poor sap bought the girl she always lied for a roughly $10,000 engagement ring. She's not a poor victim, lol. Final edit, so I told the fiancé who was being cheated on. I found a lot of incriminating stuff in my text conversations with my ex and a few damning photos. I got a hold of his number and sent him everything. He called me, and we had an hour-long conversation where I basically broke down the entire cheating timeline for him. She wasn't with us on the 14th, she was at XYZ's place, etc. I've been waiting a long time to tell this guy that he was about to sign his life away to a serial cheater, and I deeply resent the fact that I had to stay quiet about this. Poor guy broke down. It's hard listening to a grown man cry like that. He had his suspicions but never had any real proof. Looks like the wedding's off, and his cheating ex-fiancé will need to start looking for a new place to live. I invited him out with me and my friends this weekend because he met most of his friends through his fiancé, and I'm 110% sure they'll all ditch him or try to gaslight him into reconciling things. He and the other guy were the real victims in this situation, not my ex. I don't care about the fallout, she and her friends can do their fucking worst. The whole thing made me realize what a monstrous piece of shit my ex was for covering this up for so long, and I'm disgusted at myself for being complicit. I wouldn't be telling her jack shit. She and her fucking toilet people friends deserve each other. Update, I took a few people's advice and did the right thing by telling the fiancé who was being cheated on. And oh boy, did things go absolutely fucking insane. The fiancé basically demanded that my girlfriend's scumfuck friend give the engagement ring back after he packed up her shit and left it outside their apartment. A lot of their mutual friends basically turned on him for not wanting to work things out. But he stuck to his guns and understandably told them all to fuck off. They tried to make him out to be the bad guy for kicking her out without notice, etc. Her family even threatened to sue him, fucking lol, if he didn't reconsider. But he paid for everything, so good luck. I took him out with me and my friends that weekend like I said I would and told him he could call me or my other bro if he ever needed someone to talk to. I can relate to the fiancé's situation better than anyone, so we've been talking quite regularly. We ran into his ex fiancé's brother that night, and things got heated, but her brother was quick to calm down once he realized my entire group of friends would have absolutely fucking mauled him and his douchebag friends if things got physical. He's funny and overall just a good guy, so he's fit in perfectly with my group of friends. His fiancé, on the other hand, isn't doing so hot. She accused my ex and the other scummy friends of encouraging her bad behavior and ruining her relationship. Their whole friend group is basically falling apart. The other babysitting boyfriend caught wind of the whole situation and finally grew some balls. Their relationship basically blew up after his girlfriend kept publicly defending her cheating friend. He moved out last I heard, so his girlfriend isn't going to be ditching her kid and partying anymore without paying for an overnight babysitter. I'm not really friendly with him, 
so I don't know the full details, but it looks like he's seeking greener pastures. My ex also lost her shit and started blowing up my phone. I basically told her to eat shit and blocked her number after she repeatedly accused me of trying to ruin her life, as if she was the victim in this whole thing. So she did the next best thing and took to social media to smear me. She basically resorted to the cliche controlling and abuser bullshit, but everyone just dogpiled on her and told her to shut the fuck up because it's pretty evident I was neither of those things during our relationship. To the people who called me out for my cowardice for not telling the fiancé, I want to say thank you. I should have done it a long, long time ago, and I'm going to try my best to be there for him as much as humanly possible.